right, here we go. The water gate is rolling. Come on down, too big, and whoever that was, kid with it, probably better sit right back. <laughs> say you not balls of the wall man it was rough crack heard 212 in there i got you man it's like i can't say nobody keyed on nobody because when everybody got up you was standing there by yourself but it's rough y'all got 60 dbs in my radio and lord knows this watergate is not lying too big 212 and i got cracks i got four ears four ears better than two <laughs> I'm going to give this mic to Crack in a minute, but let me tell you something right now. Crack ain't going to call no goddamn fight. <laughs> Come on, 2 big. Come on, 212. Bro, I'm going to sit right back. <laughs> Too big said I'm the king of these lakes, and then I was that 212. I think it was. Hey, hey, crack. I don't know if that was you or not 212, but you said hello, crack. You did something. <laughs> I guess you figured the hell if Prime Minister's black ass won't call my name, crack with him. <laughs> I'm telling you, boy, y'all neck and neck. Prime Minister, top side of Bill Gates County, Watergate rolling. Come on. <laughs> Man, I'm glad I got a witness, man. Y'all got about 60 dBs over here, man, and I can't make out a damn thing. Whoo! Good God! <laughs> hello, 2Big, hello, 212, and anybody else in them Great Lakes. I mean, Buck 10, Cincinnati over there. I'm here in Michigan. I got all kind of shit in my radio, and 2Big seems like he's in a bad mood. He ready to swing baseball bats for the next five hours. I told him, I got you. The water gate is rolling, so you know I cannot lie. I'm holding this hammer so y'all can cool off. You know what I mean? This is the, you know, the residual effect of being water cool is that I can chill and let y'all get, get geared up. Now, I'm going to hold it a little bit longer so y'all cool off, reset, tune up, add some watts. All right. That should be enough time. Too big, two twelve, and anybody else in that badass Great Lake area probably better to say, "Come on." <laughs>
to build the Buckeyes go. Trailblazer Buck 10, Dominator built, Dominator built. That's what I heard, man. Hey, Trailblazer. Trailblazer, nothing but you. Dominator built, Dominator built the Buck 10, Prime Minister, right back. Be right number. Hey, Dynamite, why are you going 10 7, Cotton Mickey? Why are you running 10 7, man? I'm trying to have words with you now. You're going to run 10 7. You think you grown or something? Sit your ass down. Ain't time for you to leave yet. You gotta, somebody got to talk to me. That old Dynamite Buck 10, why you going 10 7, Prime Minister waving 4 and 1. <laughs> Tim right here, Dynamite. Uh, somebody keyed down right when you keyed down. Talk about he's scared, scared, scared. <laughs> but you roll that cat Mickey out of there, so I got to talk to my radio. Hello, Dynamite Buck 10. Your homeboy, way up in the northwest corner, trying to get it in. I got to get it in. Because the weather is the space weather lady had an orgasm. You know what's happening. Oh, Dynamite Buck 10, Prime Minister Wright Bizak. Ten right dynamite. Dynamite, I don't know who keyed that time because he was all by yourself. Man, I'm going to tell you something, bro. I've been waiting for this kind of key the whole time. Crack's like, okay, I can talk to that. <laughs> Crack didn't want no part of calling no fight. Hello, Dynamite and Buck T and Prime Minister Go. <laughs> Tenray, man. You see, I ain't wasting no time. I, I know your fingernails look nice because I've been cutting them the last three keys, got bigger. Because I ain't letting no gap go between, between the time you get up and the time I get down. It's a seesaw, Pimpin'. Dynamite in the Buckeye. Appreciate the spokes, man. Long time no hear from, bruh. Let me know the lakes and the all up in them areas is the buck tin and the lakes is still alive, man. Dynamite, catch you later. Too big. I don't know if you're still out there or not, man, but I hope you hope you can hear this. Where is JR at? You know, JR still owe me fifty-seven dollars, man. I ain't gonna tell uh what the money was spent on, but let's just say um she had big knockers. Prime Minister goddamn. <laughs> In the swamp, somebody come up out the bayou trying to snatch somebody. Damn, I got my beam straight over there in the buck ten. Who was that in the bayou there, bro? I think you said unit 27 in the cornfield. I believe that's what you said. I, hey, like my dad used to say, man, 
don't blame it on my don't blame it on my head. Don't blame it on my heart. Blame it on my head, got bigger. If I didn't get it right, but it sounded like you said unit twenty seven in the cornfields of Indiana. You know I got a bump down right now. Speaking of the cornfield, that's the home that's the home of my partner, Mr. Four Zero Five, aka Mr. Kid Rock. <laughs> he always say, pimping ain't easy. Show us fat meat, be greasy. I should move this beam down to Wheezy. Y'all don't believe me? Hello, 27 Decord, Prime Minister, right back. <laughs> Right, man, you say I got it right. I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate me getting something right today, man. It's been a train wreck out here, man. You say 405 be your partner, man. Well, help that cat make out because he on the crazy side, man. That cat make crazy as hell. Hey, I remember he bought me a prop pitch motor, man. He said, Prime, you think if I put this inside and spun it upside that tube that it would cool it better? <laughs> That guy big was trying to cool off his tube with a helicopter uh, prop pitch motor or some shit. I don't know what's wrong with that guy. He smoked too much weed. Guess you later, 27. Indiana. Them cornfields. You know who it is? Bill Gates County. Home of the wickedest, richest, nasty bastards on earth. Prime Minister got down. <laughs> Was that you, 405? Was that you, Captain? I know I heard somebody say 05 or something like that. Was that you, 405? Y'all be proud, but it's the right back. <laughs> I couldn't make out none of that. I sound like, well, I ain't going to say his handle because it might not have been him, but it sound like my good friend a little bit further south, but if I say his handle, man, woo. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I want to make sure if it's him or not, because, boy, if if he he might be at the movies, and I say that guy because his handle, he's going to catch your ass whooping at the movies. <laughs> I tell it. <laughs> All right, man. Hello, around the court. Feels <laughs> Indiana Prime Minister got down. Don't worry about the call. Well, I ain't laughing no more because you clean my radio up. You sound like my daddy or something, man. What the hell you laughing at, boy? <laughs> All that giggling and shit. <laughs> you sound like you swore your chest up. Hello, Popeye, Indiana, Prime Minister. Oh, oops. I said Indiana. You said Illinois. Hello, Popeye, Prime Minister. Right back. Right back, right back. I think I heard Mr. All Power down yonder. 
I moved down yonder just a tiny tad bit. There's a tad bit down yonder, you know, split the booty. You know what I mean? Hello, all power. Hello, Popeye. Prime Minister, split the booty right down the middle. Let's go. Tim right here, 22 night. I moved this beam, boy, and all of a sudden, here come Mississippi and Georgia. Boy, I tell you, man. I'm going to give me a ground plane. <laughs> Hello, 22-9. I think you were saying happy turkey turkey day to somebody or something like that. I don't know who you passing a five on, but I didn't hear nothing but you. You see how fast I keep. Deuce, deuce, nine, and sis mippy. Proud minister right back. <laughs> Snoop. Hey, Big Snoop, I took your order. You said, bring them beams on to the bayou. Guess where I'm at, Cat Mega? Buck 20. That tells me I'm in the bayou, Snoop Dogg, Prime Minister. Say, come on. Snoop, I ain't heard nothing. Crack just got up and left my ass. Crack just got up and said, I'm going to go smoke me a Chesterfield. Left my fat ass sitting here, man. <laughs> God damn, y'all got my ears plugged. I can't hear nothing. Hello, Big Snoop. What's up with you, man? I heard my uncle down there, too. My my uncle, he ain't sent me that stuff to give me the bad influence today. But I, that's all right. I'm going to get it out of him at some point. Hello, Big Snoop. Hello, King Snake, if you can hear me. Proud but it's a deep in the cut. Northwest Coda got down. <laughs> Twenty two nine. What'd you say about uh so and so and so got to leave because he's something about a possum? What'd you say? <laughs> what'd you say? Twenty two nine break. Country and pun. Yeah, I can crack all of my. What are you, 22 nine? What you say, man? You say, you say, you say, crack Carter better go smoke a Chesterfield because you ain't going to give him that goddamn <laughs> microphone. <laughs> hey, take care, man. He on the phone, man. He on you the phone you. calling somebody. Rejects, he you. Oh, that's Reject? Yeah. Okay, hey, hey, 22 nine. You say, crack Carter better go smoke a Chesterfield because you ain't going to let him do no talking. <laughs> He don't want to call no fight. I'm going to tell you right now, that guy, big, hey, y'all start fighting. He's walked out the room, let me sit there. <laughs> Hello, 22 die. you crazy. I'm gone. <laughs> Prime, 
229 had a hammer down, bro, but I heard you, man. But it is what it is. We trying to get it straight. <laughs> Big Snoop in the bayou. L-O-D-U-229 got a hammer down, man. Made crack walk back up in here. That got me outside smoking a chest of <laughs> He turned around and came back in. Hello, Big Snoop, Prime Minister got down. Hey, Prime Minister. But I think Godfather's voice saying good no. That's all I heard, man. Like that was a just a 60 dB wall of noise. And the Watergate don't lie. I got a video gate. God dog, man. I gotta learn how to shoot skip again, man. Y'all got me confused up here. I'm trying to make somebody out. I ain't gonna try to split frequencies and stuff. That's what them mud ducks do. Let me see if I can slide over and pull so and so in. <laughs> I ain't doing that, but Lord knows if you take it, I got you. Prime Minister, ears wide open. Let's go. Hey, Scrap Iron, you wanted me to tell 229 something, but I ain't hear, I ain't hear 229. I heard Scrap Iron. What you, who you want, what you want me to pass a fire to a ghost? I didn't hear the guy make it. <laughs> Hello, Scrap Iron. But boy, you was standing up there talking like you was my daddy. You tell that guy make it this. <laughs> Hello, Scrap Iron Prime Minister, right back. <laughs> See, I didn't waste no time, right? A twenty-two nine. He said, "Tell Scrap Iron he ain't got nothing to tell me." Period. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> you, well, you, you said, "Tell Scrap Iron he ain't got nothing he can tell me." Hello, twenty-two nine, and crack heard it too. Right, but it's the right back. <laughs> Ten right, two two nine was up on top, but I couldn't make out much. And then I heard Tommy Gun in the swamp right at the end of that man, but that was rough. It was two two nine on top, but it was real hard to make something up, man. I can't do that. I gotta keep it one hundred. I got witnesses and a water gate. Hello two two nine. Hello Tommy Gun. Prime Minister got down. <laughs> Don't go chasing Tommy Gun. Please stick to them ducks on 28 that you used to. Hey, Tommy Gun, all by yourself. I got you, homie. You got a water gate going, so do I. Tommy Gun, Prime Minister, right back. Still speaking. That was rough, man. 
I got mostly, I think, 22.9 on that, but y'all was about neck and neck that key. I heard 22.9 signing out, but neither one took that key. We got one round, 22.9, one Tommy Gunn, and Lord knows the Watergate will not lie. Tommy Gunn, 229, Prime Minister Unkey. Let's go. I salute the president just walked in the room. I salute because President Obama stepped in the room and you got to know your role and shut your mouth. Hello, President Obama. I got right back to you. Come on, Prime Minister, say come. Well, I tell you what, Prime, you got them all down. Right, President Obama, but that cat making Tommy Gunn walked you down. Took a while though. You was all by yourself, but that cat making did walk you down. I gotta give it to him. <laughs> but boy, you cat making flip flop right there. And I got you. The Watergate don't lie. Tommy Gunn, President Obama, Prime Minister, right back. <laughs> I will not make you wait, President Obama. You say you're trying to get in them big boys' business and do not make me wait, and I did not. President Obama, Prime Minister, keeping it 100 and the water gates rolling. Let's go. Well, you know, every time then, Prime, you gotta make a believe out of some kind of biggest man. This is the only job I do free, and I do it for me. I have fun doing it, Prime Minister. You are to be going. Yeah, Tim Ryan. Hey, President Obama, you said this is the only job you do for free, and you do it. I do it for me. That's what you said. <laughs> you said this is the only job I do for free, and I do this for me. Hello, President Obama. You know I'm hearing you because I'm bringing it back like you roll it. Prime Minister, right back. Hey, Prime. Well, that's how I go, Prime. I'm, I'm not going to stick and stay, man. I just came to say hey because I heard you bumping down in the world of sound. Hey, Prime, I appreciate you stopping by 27.025, which is the physical address of this flag substation of the Jane German Nation. Prime, President Obama, I'm in the clear. The President has spoken. President Obama got it all. And the gate does not lie. And that's the folks here, Roger Prime. I appreciate you keeping it one on Hello, Marsha Dillon. I heard you enter the fray. President Obama said he gonna walk somebody down. Who he was talking about? <laughs> but I heard Marsha Dillon key. Obama was on the key when Dillon key. Then it looked like Obama came back and said something about walking somebody down. I don't know if he can hear you or not, Dillon, but I can. Prime Minister Watergate rolling, ref shirt on. Brr, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, Tim Ray. So this this is what I got now. I don't, Dylan might not have been keyed, but President Obama keyed first. He said, "I do what I want to do, not what they let me do," and he said that again. And then you rose up, Dylan, and said you made it look like you were standing by just listening. <laughs> so you might not even have been keyed. So you know I'm keeping it 100. Hello, President Obama. Hello, Marshall Dylan, Prime Minister, right back. Yeah, you know,
I didn't get neither one of y'all that keyboard. That was just 60 dBs of noise. Nobody took my radio that key. That was knotted up. 60 dBs of noise. I couldn't even tell you who keyed that time. Private is the gut down. <laughs> Obama, you on top, but I just couldn't make out what you're saying, man. 229's back in there, but I didn't hear him till you unkeyed. President Obama, it's getting tough, bruh. You still was on top, but I can't make out what nobody's saying. <laughs> so I guess uh, just discount that as a big knot, a bus in the middle of the road. Prime Minister say, somebody untie this knot so I can talk to somebody. Let's go. <laughs> Worldwide Tommy Gun, that was all I heard that key. I got to keep it 100. Worldwide Tommy Gun got the hammer down, and I appreciate you cleaning up my radio, because me and Crack, we can speak English, but we don't know how to speak that. <laughs> we can't figure that shit out. Hello, Tommy Gun, Prime Minister, right back. <laughs> Hey, President Obama, what you say, man? <laughs> you crazy. You gonna say that man's in a shootout mode, so you gonna let him win the shootout? <laughs> oh, man, you crazy. President Obama said that man is in the shootout mode, so I'm gonna let him, let him win the shootout. I ain't gonna keep no more. <laughs> Hello, President Obama. Hello, uh, Tommy Good. Prime Minister got down. <laughs> Ten right here, scrap iron. Ten right here, scrap iron. Appreciate it, man. I'm gonna pull back, man, and get out of the way. Let some of the homies do some talking around here, cause <laughs> y'all burning up my damn electricity. You know what I mean? All right, catch you later. I heard King of the South talking to somebody too, but scrap iron, you have my radio. Scrap iron, catch you come later. You know who it is? The amigo with the great big ego in the corners. Ten seven. <laughs> Tommy Gunn, you had it by little edge. I heard you say, what you waiting on, Prime? But, man, it's rough up here, man. Lord have mercy. It's like 60 D, like a hornet nest. <laughs> Crack got his gloves on. He said, here, reach up in there, see if he can find somebody. I said, the boy, don't you stick your hand in that hole. <laughs> Catch you later. Later on, oh, Tommy Gunn, Prime Minister got down. <laughs> Right, 229. I couldn't make out everything you said, man. You was on top, but I couldn't make out everything you said. I was saying something to Crack at the same time. Sorry about that, man. Nephew. Yeah. He, oh, okay. Crack said you was deaf. You. Well, why the hell he you interrupt your key then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you later, 229. Tommy Gunn. I heard you towards the end of that key too, man. I apologize, 229. Blame, blame it on your uncle up here. I'm gone. <laughs> Hey, 
twenty nine. You ain't lying, man. <laughs> Boy, you get a mic to crack Carter. He he ain't he don't give a shit. <laughs> Hey, Kevin can be talking to who he want to talk to. <laughs> oh, y'all be slobbered in the mic. He'll be, he be on call feel good or somebody. <laughs> get out of here. Catch, catch, catch you later, 229. We got to go outside and get back to work, man. Five minutes to go. <laughs> Test one, two, 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 test